asked on Twitter what video I should make next and Gary Johnson won, so here goes. Am I feeling the Johnson? Stay tuned to find out. The CNN Libertarian Party Town Hall was last night, which was awesome that third parties got exposure on national TV. Some will say they only did it to hurt Trump. The more that I'm involved in media, the more that I realize that there isn't some grand conspiracy. Well, the conspiracy is money and media cares about ratings first and foremost. With Trump and Hillary being fairly unpopular, more attention than ever before is being paid to third party candidates. This is exciting to me because more people will be exposed to the word libertarian. It's also very nerve wracking. I was watching the CNN town hall like, don't say anything stupid, don't say anything stupid. It's like meeting your significant other's parents for the first time. Be on your best behavior. Don't talk too much about pot. I tried watching the town hall as an undecided voter, which I kind of am. I'm in the, do I vote for Donald Trump and never ever tell anybody because if Hillary Clinton presidency scares the living beep out of me and it's probably better than Hillary because basically everyone's better than Hillary. But uh, yeah. Or the I'm voting for the Libertarian Party ticket even though I'm realistic about the chances of a third party candidate winning and they've said some not so libertarian stuff sometimes. Or the I'm going to write in my cats but more likely I'm just going to stay home and complain on the internet camp. Lots of choices. When I say not so libertarian things, you know, I'm not the biggest purist in the world. I'm not going to say they didn't mention the non-aggression principle or the Austrian business legal theory. Are they even libertarians? I understand that they are trying to talk to the non-converted. That makes us sound a little cult-like, so scratch that. Their performance could have been worse, but it could have been a lot better. When Gary Johnson was talking about how life has never been better for Americans, I don't think that's the winning message. Because people here, nothing needs to change. People are pissed off, they want change, and here are libertarians who are the furthest thing from the status quo saying, life is good. I get that he doesn't want to do the doom and gloom, but it was just a wasted opportunity to tell people how their lives would be better under a libertarian president. And why won't they say anything bad about Hillary? I thought maybe that's just not their personality to attack or they're trying to get her supporters, but when it comes to Trump, they have no problem attacking there. Calling him a racist, pussy, he's got a screw loose. And what are your thoughts on Hillary Clinton? Wonderful public servants. <coughs> I like Gary's answer on not banning semi-automatic rifles. Go Gary. Bill Weld was noticeably quiet during that answer, maybe because he proposed a ban on some semi-automatic weapons as governor. Mmm, I don't like that. Though I was impressed by his speaking ability. Remember, I'm trying to watch this as an undecided voter. It seemed like he knew what he was talking about, even if I disagreed. It was like, that guy knows what he's talking about. Gary did a good job at explaining that libertarians are not isolationist. I know that isolationist word drives us crazy. No, we're not. We're not interventionist. So thank you, Gary. Then, of course, the gay wedding cake issue came up. Gary has said that bakers shouldn't be allowed to discriminate against gay couples. This time, he said bakers have to bake the cake, but they don't have to frost it? Yeah, I wouldn't trust the frosting on a cake that somebody was forced to make either. But nobody should be forced to bake a cake. I understand that it may seem like such a minor issue. Here we are, $19 trillion in debt, and you're talking about wedding cakes? I get that, but it just goes against libertarian principles of private property and freedom of association. And then the topic turned to marijuana, and Gary was like, I got this. He talked about the need for more research, though I wish he would have gone into a little bit more about the harms of marijuana prohibition. That lady is not going to be convinced, of course, but it's more about convincing the viewers. 
The answer to one of the terrorism questions just made me cringe. On Lone Wolf Attacks, Gary said, This stuff is going to happen. As an undecided voter, I hear, Well, you might die in a terrorist attack. That stuff happens. What you gonna do? That's not really reassuring. He could have gone into the importance of self-defense. Then the silly question about whether the government should make you eat healthy food or whatever. He praised Michelle Obama. It was just unclear. Whereas I would have been like, I'll eat whatever I dang well please, missy. This would be why I'm not running for president. I liked Gary's answer to Black Lives Matter. He said he had his head in the sand for a while about discrimination. It sounded sincere. Okay, Gary, okay. Then Bill Weld went in a non-libertarian direction with it by implying that the government should create jobs in the black community. Am I at the DNC? Then somebody in the audience asked about prostitution and I'm like this again. That's not really the question that libertarians want to be asked on national TV with it being so taboo. I thought the answer was okay. Uh, it could have been used as an opportunity to explain how libertarians are against criminalizing victimless crimes, but okay. Now, of course, I'm being a Monday morning quarterback, but I felt like there was more opportunities to explain the philosophy better. I do think they came off as more reasonable than Trump or Hillary, and I do hope that Gary Johnson is allowed to be in the debates. I would say I'm feeling the Johnson a little bit, but I don't know if I'm ready to go all the way yet. I'm going to pull a Ted Cruz and say, vote your conscience. I'm still trying to figure out mine. Unrelated, I am participating in Strut Your Mutt, which is a charity fundraising walk hosted by Best Friends Animal Society. I'm involved in animal rescue in my personal life. It's something I'm really passionate about, and that's why I'm using this platform to hopefully raise money for animal rescue, because I know that money will make a difference. The money will be going to a C3 nonprofit, which means it's 100% tax deductible, which means Uncle Sam gets less of your money. The donation link is below. I would really appreciate if you could chip in $5, $10, whatever you could afford. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your support.